Hey everyone, don't mind my being out of breathness and my crazy hair right now. I'm out on a walk <laughs> and um, I actually just learned something really interesting related to muscle weakness in Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and wanted to share it with you guys in case you have muscle weakness and happen to be clinically diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, this might be worth looking into. There is a subtype, it's a, a rare subtype, um, called myopathic Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Um, it's abbreviated as M, as in mom, EDS, so M-EDS. And um, I was watching this really great video by the Ehlers-Danlos Society um, that kind of explained how it's inherited and some of the uh, symptoms of it. I'll put a link in this video so that you can access it if you wanna check it out. Um, but I thought it was really interesting because um, you know, in the periodic paralysis support group that I'm in, um, and from what I've heard from researchers, there's a possible connection, it's an open question, about um, whether there's a link between hypermobility and periodic paralysis, which um, in periodic, periodic paralysis, people experience muscle weakness. So um, the fact that there is a type of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome it actually has muscle weakness um, is really interesting to me and it's in the collagen 12 gene I believe and um, so might be worth looking into um, for my understanding people with the myopathic form of EDS have weakness from birth um, and they can temporarily, like usually their muscle weakness tends to decrease over time, um, but it can worsen in a person's 40s um, temporarily. And um, they might also have other symptoms along with that. So um, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description in case anybody wants to learn more. And that's all I've got for this video. Thanks for listening and hope you're having a great day. Bye.